Professor Seguer, uh, you talked uh, about uh, ventricular fibrillation in uh, in uh, non structural disease, uh, non cardiac structural disease, uh, and you talk about uh, the ablation of the ventri premature ventricular beats and the substrate. Uh, what uh, you can tell us about in in patient without uh, structural heart disease ventricular fibrillation can be initiated by ectopic beat most of them in brugada are from the rvot and uh, in uh, purkinje heart disease uh, particularly in idiopathic vf purkinje beat are the main uh, source triggering ventricular uh, fibrillation well, the situation in fact is uh, dependent on the patient uh, some of them came with a VF storm and according to the guidelines this is the best situation to map the trigger ectopy because we have the possibility to document the 12 lead morphology of the ectopy and find them by, by mapping. Now unfortunately uh, a good part of these patients with uh, idiopathic VF have no ectopic bits and in that case we have a new means uh, to document what is the source of their ventricular fibrillation. We can use a non-invasive vest that can map all the, the chest of this patient and find in this patient, I, at least in half of them, we have a localized sources and these localized sources can be relatively discrete and accessible to ablation. And what also is interesting is that these localized sources in idiopathic VF are not accessible, not perceptible by any imaging techniques. They are below the diagnostic capability of MRI, of Ashmaline, of Isoprel. And this is a relatively new perspective because in addition to trigger ablation, we have the possibility to map VF and the substrate and find in half of the patient some localized sources that can be accessible to an ablation therapy.